This video will look at embedding videos in knowledge articles in ServiceNow. So I'm in a ServiceNow instance, and we're going to head over to the knowledge application, and we're going to create a new article. Uh, so we'll stick this in the knowledge base, and we'll give it a short description, um, how to video. Um, actually, and the short description is pretty important because uh, that's going to be the main way that folks find out about the content of the video, right? ServiceNow doesn't uh, crawl or doesn't index the the what's in the video. Um, so finding the short description is really going to be the key to uh, having users be able to find the video and to know what's in it. Uh, okay, so we go down here and we just go to this insert edit media and we're going to do a general so this is going to be one that we're going to insert uh, that we're going to upload from here so i have a video a short one on my machine here uh, this one here and we can just leave the settings as it is um you know, I'm just looking at this now. So most of the time you're going to be on your production instance when you're creating a new knowledge article. But if for some reason you aren't and you're going to be promoting this article from dev to pride, you're going to have to be careful with this source. In fact, this is probably not going to work uh, because after you promote it, it's going to have the uh, link to, the, uh, to your dev instance. So... Uh, long story short is really create these in prod directly, which is usually the practice that folks follow. All right, we'll save that. So it embeds it right there. And we can expand this a bit to kind of take up the width of the, of the window. And so that's it. We'll, we'll go here and save it. Okay, now we want to publish. And it very annoyingly disappears off the screen. We'll go back here, go to approvals, and we'll approve it. OK, let's give it a category, too, so we can find it easily. OK, and so let's go take a look at it. We can look here, view article. And we can see that the video is embedded in here. And right, we can play it. I don't think you can hear the audio, but uh, the audio is there. Likewise, this works on the portal. So if we were to go to the portal, service portal, go to knowledge base, IT, FAQ, uh, how to video, right? That shows up here as well. Um, so a couple of resources and caveats. One thing you might run into is, so videos tend to be kind of large. Uh, and I'm not sure what the, yeah, the default for an attachment file is uh, 1024, right? So that's, uh, oh gosh, that's a gig. Is that, uh, is that what that is? So, right, you might not run into this, actually, probably very few videos are going to be that big. But uh, if you're on an older instance, uh, this setting might be smaller. So uh, you, you can go to, it is, where is it, a sys property, this one, uh, com glide match uh, attachment max size. So let's go just take a look at that. And uh, I'm on a new, this is, my, this is a PDI, so. It's probably going to be set to that uh, new default. Uh, yeah, 1024, right? So that's already set to a whole gig. So that, that should be enough. Uh, but if you're on an older instance that where this is set lower, um, you can uh, raise that up a bit to get the higher setting. Uh, that's one caveat. Another one to be aware of is there is um, before, uh, yeah, this was all the way back in Kingston and Jakarta, the HTML field would uh, sign up, would uh, 
play would wouldn't play nice with videos. So you have to set some attributes, um, and that that's described in this knowledge base. I think this is well, not I think this has been resolved uh, since at least Quebec. I think so. Uh, you probably won't run into this, but if you do, that's just something to be aware of. Um, there is also an article here on the community uh, written, this is probably a few years back, well, from 2020, yeah. So who explains uh, this? And this article, m many of the steps in this article are now no longer necessary. And they note that as such, right? Starting in Quebec, this step uh, has been added. So uh, a lot of this stuff you don't have to do anymore. It's already built in for you. And down here, they give you the he gives you the two options. So video from a video uh, table. Actually, we're doing it a little bit differently. We didn't add it into the video table, though you could do it this way. This is another way to do it. Um, and maybe we'll take a look at that in a second. So we just added it directly in the uh, article. And Right, when you add it directly in the article, I believe this sticks it in the sys attachment table. Let's see if that is the case. Yeah, that sticks it in the sys attachment table. So another approach to this um, would be to stick it in the db uh, underscore video table. So right now there's nothing in there. You can create a new record, you give it a name. And before you upload the video in here, um, which one was it? It was a really small one. Yeah, this guy here. Um, and then from there, in the knowledge article, you can. Um, find it from public. In fact, let's go back and just look at that. Um, this way, though, I am not 100% sure about what happens in this uh, DB video, DB underscore video table. I, it seems to be some sort of public table, so I would be careful with this. Um, I think the easiest way is just to add it directly into the knowledge base article, but let's go back to the uh, let's go back to this knowledge article. And if we get rid of this and we do this again, insert media, and you go to uh, local media and see source public uh, library. And so this is where we're getting the, um, this is the video we just uploaded, right? Um, so it's this source public library that uh, would make me a little bit nervous. I'm not sure that it's actually public. I, I don't think it is because I've tested it with uh, uh, non-rolled users, and uh, they're unable to browse that table. But uh, I'm just not sure. I uh, have to do a little more reading to see exactly what's public about, <laughs> about that table. Um, that's another way you could do it. The third way you can do it, and that is described in the article I had here is at a YouTube video. Um, so you get an embed code from YouTube um, or SharePoint. I think that would probably work. I haven't tried that, but uh, if you got an embed code from, from SharePoint, from your internal SharePoint, uh, that might work here and you could do it. So YouTube, obviously, I mean, most of these things are internal, so you don't want your stuff up on YouTube. Uh, but uh, something like a SharePoint might be interesting for this. Um, and it would have the added bonus of not storing the file on the ServiceNow server. Uh, so most instances have a four terabyte uh, limit. So you don't want to turn your instance into a YouTube. Um, but um, on the other hand, uh, if that uh, if those videos ever disappear, you know, somebody decides to clean up your SharePoint and uh, they don't know what the heck those are doing there and they get rid of them, uh, these obviously will stop working here. Um, so there's advantages and disadvantages to both sides. But um, that's a brief overview of adding embedded videos in uh, knowledge articles. 
which uh, I didn't talk about the benefits of this, but I think it's obvious to everybody. Everybody loves videos. It's easy. You look at it instead of reading. Nobody likes to read anymore. Uh, so it's nice to have those um, in directly in the knowledge articles. Thanks for watching.